Samsung has finally created their own ecosystem, aka their very own walled garden. What's up guys, so the PC Unpacked event has finally revealed Samsung's big moves. They officially revealed the most powerful Galaxy ever with 11th gen Intel Core processors and one of the model even debuts the brand new Nvidia GTX 350 Ti GPU. But before we talk about the laptops, first let's take a look at what Samsung has done with the software. This is Samsung's best shot at creating a similar ecosystem as Apple's. For the the first time Samsung is bringing Quick Share to Windows. Quick Share was first introduced with Galaxy smartphones, giving you that seamless transfer of data. And now, thanks to Quick Share on Windows, just like iOS and macOS, you can transfer any data seamlessly from your Galaxy smartphone to your Windows machine without any issue. Not just that, you can also receive phone calls on your laptop, use mobile apps thanks to Link to Windows, and of course, have that amazing app sync for all your Microsoft and Samsung applications. For the first time, Samsung is bringing the core essence of their Galaxy software to their Windows 10 laptop. It's like Windows 10 with one UI features embedded. So pretty much if anyone who wants to leave Apple's ecosystem, this might just be the best alternative. Now coming to the laptops, we have Galaxy Book, Galaxy Book Pro laptop, and then Samsung Galaxy Book Odyssey, which is the most high-end version of the laptop. It comes with a brand new NVIDIA dedicated GPU for enhanced gaming performance. As for the Galaxy Book Pro series, we have the Galaxy Book Pro, the traditional model, and then we have the Galaxy Book Pro 360 that is actually a convertible PC and it's the only model that supports S Pen. Samsung has definitely created a very very slim design, it's super premium, brand new keyboard with an even bigger trackpad, slim aluminum design which is even comparable to smartphones. No doubt these are definitely Samsung's best and the most premium looking laptops. For the display, Galaxy Book Pro series brings OLED display to the table, it's a bright color accurate display with great brightness. Other specs include Dolby Atmos Sport, if you want to enhance your experience you can even connect up to 3 external monitors and if you own a Galaxy Tab S7, you can use that as a secondary screen. Now as for internals, Samsung is definitely using the best chip that they can use when it comes to Windows machine. We've got 11 gen Intel Core i7 and Core i5 processors, making these laptops perfectly capable for gaming and other extensive tasks. Now we have seen Intel's 11 gen Core i7 processor in other notebooks and it definitely doesn't beat Apple's M1 chip, but on a Windows 10 Ultrabook laptop, this is definitely the fastest chip you can have. So for for those who are in this Windows ecosystem, these laptops could be a pretty good deal. And especially if you own a Samsung Galaxy smartphone, you'll have an amazing ecosystem similar to Apple. For the pricing, the non-pro Galaxy Book laptop actually starts at $549. It's rocking a non-OLED display, of course, it's that entry-level laptop. Then we have the Galaxy Book Pro series. It comes with two different sizes. It starts from $1,000. Again, depending on your configuration, it can go from there. And then we have the most specced out Galaxy book odyssey laptop where the dedicated nvidia gpu starts at fourteen hundred dollars overall i have to say samsung is finally doing something big with their laptops and smartphone ecosystem and a lot of that has to do with the software but at the same time i'm glad that they went with the fastest intel chip again it's not at the level of apple's m1 chip but is the best you can have on an ultrabook windows 10 laptop so that's all the latest news samsung's answer to apple's airdrop quick share for windows is finally here it's gonna be a very seamless experience let me know your thoughts in the comments section below in case you haven't subscribed to the channel be sure to subscribe for daily tech videos and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out